Thank you to everyone for joining. Today we are going to be looking at automating business processes, uh, specifically at a new vendor onboarding process, leveraging the Dynamic Point portal application um, built specifically for Office 365. So the process that we're going to be looking at, I could go ahead and share a slide here. This is standard vendor onboarding process. And by all means, this is just for illustration's sake, just showing you how you could use our portal in conjunction with Office 365 to automate business processes. And what we have here is a vendor request is going to start us off. So someone within the organization is going to request a new vendor. They're going to put in some details of what they want that vendor to look like or the invitation. The vendor will get the invitation sent to them. From there, they're going to fill out some onboarding forms, some tax documentation, provide other requirements, and then we have a workflow. The workflow will request managers to approve this request of a new vendor being set up in our system, as well as an automatic vendor being created in the ERP. And then lastly, the vendor will get an invitation to come into the portal. So pretty simple process, again, just for illustration's sake. I go ahead and close out of this and go to our vendor portal. So here we have our Office 365 vendor portal. We have other videos covering the functionality here. Uh, essentially what it's doing is taking the information within our ERP application and allowing vendors to come in here and collaborate with that data. So they could change such things as the delivery date, acknowledge POs, um, etc. But again, that's not the focus of today. Today we're going to go to this new vendor request form that I've created. It is a really simple vendor request form. It is leveraging Microsoft Forms. All it asks me for is the vendor name, as well as the email. So I'll go ahead and put my email and our vendor name, and I will submit it. So that's something that an um, employee within your organization would do. They would initiate the request. If I go ahead and open up my email, I will receive a new document that I need to complete. So you can notice that this email is actually coming from DocuSign. The reason I'm using DocuSign integration here um, is one is it comes standard with the capabilities within uh, Power Automate or Microsoft Flow. And then the second part of it is I want to capture their electronic signature. So I'm going to click on review this document. And what it's going to open is a form for me to fill out. My form basically consists of a couple areas. It consists of some information that I want to capture for the vendor, such as their address, telephone number, fax, bank, routing number, and a few checklist items here. In addition, it's going to have the government provided W9 form. So this is, again, just for illustration. I could also have them uploaded if they already have one on file. I'm going to skip filling this out just because I have all these set to optional for right now and go right to the electronic signature. I could use the saved one or go ahead and create a new one using DocuSign. So I'll just go ahead and draw a new signature. Go ahead and use that. As you can see, it's going to provide a date stamp. And I will finish that. So in my case, pretty simple form. Obviously, you could use your imagination there and what's possible. I will close out of DocuSign. And the next step in that process, as I mentioned from my uh, one slide, is that we want to kick off an approval. So I'm going to go to my email here, and I see I have a new vendor request that's been submitted. And if I click on this link, it's going to provide me the details of that completed form. So I could review that, as well as the ability to approve or reject it. And this is using a Power Automate approval task. So I could review this in addition um, using my email, using such things as um, Teams. If I'm using Teams, I could go ahead and look at that new vendor request here. Again, I have a link to the completed form, and I could choose my response right from the Teams interface. There is also a mobile app available if you'd prefer to do this from uh, a mobile device. So I'm going to go ahead and share that really quick. We'll see my phone. Here is, again, the Power Automate or uh, Teams app. I'm sorry, the uh, Flow app. And then you can see, again, I have the ability to approve or reject it from my mobile phone, as well as a link to the completed phone. 
completed form. So I'm going to go ahead and go back and just do it from the email. Say this looks great. And submit it. We will go ahead and go back to the portal. And my approval process is pretty simple here. It only entails one tier of an approval. And then after that one tier is complete, I will get an invitation as a vendor, welcome me to the portal. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. Again, this is a really simple email. I'd probably wanna add some branding here and make this a little bit more pretty, but it says you now are vendor in our system to access the portal, click the following link. When I click that, it's gonna take me right back to the dynamic point vendor portal. So that was it for today. As you can see, pretty uh, simple process that I was using as an illustration uh, example, um, but obviously this could all be tailored. It's all using the functionality of Office 365 uh, in conjunction with the Dynamic Point Vendor Portal product. Thank you so much for joining.